today we are doing a Hungry Man Salisbury Steak. Wow. Oh yeah, my mouth is watering. Let's see here. Salisbury Steak in a home style mushroom and onion gravy with creamy mashed potatoes. Let's see if that works. And tender green beans. Includes a chocolate brownie. How can you go wrong? Uh, feels pretty hefty. One pound. One pound net weight. Uh, simply cook and serve. Hungry man, satisfy your craving. Well, let's take a peek here. Oh my lord. Well, the ingredients. Well, they met, they mentioned mushroom, onions, modified cornstarch. There it is again. It's always in there. Uh, wow, sherry cooking wine. Interesting. And it mentions beef a few times. We've got the. Uh, Vegetable stock, carrot, onion, celery, lots of good stuff in here. Cooked Salisbury steak. Um, and you know, there's like a million other things in between those words. Mashed potatoes in bold, green beans in bold, brownie in bold. Uh, doesn't look too bad. I think that this one here might, might, might uh, be a little better than the banquets we've been serving. Serving size is one package. And additional facts. Let's go through those. You can hear Rupus in the back. He's just waiting for this puppy. Total fat, 33 grams. That's 51% of your total daily allowance. Saturated fat, 10 grams, which is 50% of your total daily allowance. Cholesterol, 65 milligrams, 22%. Sodium, 1,290. 54% of your total daily intake allowance. Uh, better have a glass of water with this. Total carbohydrates, 52 grams. Definitely not the Atkins diet thing. Uh, dietary fiber, about 5%. And sugar, 17. Obviously, your normal vitamins and all those goodies. And Rufus is getting anxious. So, standard procedure here for a 1,100 watt uh, microwave oven. Is, is everything okay over there, Buster? Huh? Come on, Rufus. Give me a break. Uh, and here we go. We got to remove the film from the brownie. Cut a slit in the film over the green beans and potatoes. Microwave on high for four and a half minutes. Carefully remove the brownie. Uh oh. Okay, we got to work at this one. Um, with a fork and set aside. Return the tray to the microwave for another three and a half minutes. And let stand one minute in microwave oven and stir potatoes. So, what's that give us? A total of uh, four and a half plus three and a half. Uh, where, where I went to school, that's eight minutes. Uh, you can check my math if you want to. Um, so, looks pretty good compared to, <laughs> you know, those other things there. Uh, let's see what the package looks like inside. I'll open this up. Oop, warning. Okay, we're within the, uh, I don't want to live on the edge here. Uh, but we're okay. Still plenty of time left. And, uh, all right. We've got a pretty good looking meal here. Um, I'll hold it up to the camera. You can see the potatoes here. The brownies in the center. And we've got the uh, green beans over here. And on top is the Salisbury steak. And it looks like it's in a, a fairly uh, generous portion of gravy. And it's in one of those compartmentalized containers. I'll get that word yet. You wait and see. And yes, where did I get it? Wally World. Where else? All right. It was 248 for one of these puppies. I mean, you know, you can't. 248. That's uh, uh, not bad for a full meal. Let's see how it turns out. So I'm going to prep this thing for the oven and do what they told me to do to take the foil off of, or the cellophane off of the brownie. And uh, we'll see you in a little bit. Hold on, we'll be back. Hi folks, and we're back from the first round of microwaving and we're supposed to pull this brownie out of here. I figured I'd do it in front of camera just in case there was any problems, we could all see it. I can tell this ain't going to be easy. But, what do you know? Came out in one piece. A little bit on the fork. Not too bad. Kind of a big plate for that sucker. I hope you can see it there. 
We're going to leave that here and pop the rest of this uh, thing back in the oven until it's done. See you shortly. Well, here we are out today by the horse pasture. This is Rufus's first day seeing horses. I don't know what if he quite makes or knows what to make of them here. Just looking right now. Oh, the horses are coming over to investigate. I'm surprised he's not scared. Oh, keeps looking back. What are these things, Daddy? Bet you they eat more than I do. Oh, look at this, will ya? Rufus didn't move. Now this is interesting. First day seeing a horse. He's seven months old. Look at this, will ya? They're all coming over to say hello to Rufus. Oh, got a little tail between his legs. Rufus, you ever put a dump like that one behind you in the living room, you're done. Hmm, he's curious. Doesn't know what to make of them. What are these things? Are they horses? Ooh, ooh. Making a friend? Be careful, Rufus. Be careful. Say hello. Well, you want to be on this side of the fence, huh? A little safer. A little sa Ooh, Look. What do you think, Roof? Hello, huh, Rufus? Beautiful animals. Look at this guy reaching over the fence. There he goes. Rufus got to check it out. Pretty amazed. He's not scared, but he's not being bold either. He's just checking it out. Hi hey guys, what y'all doing? I think he wants to play, but he's not sure. These guys are too big. No rough housing with them, huh? What do you think, Rufus? He's a good-natured little puppy. Hi, everyone. We're back. We're completed with the microwaving of the uh, Hungry Man Salisbury Steak Dinner. And uh, there it is after the full cooking time. Doesn't look too awful bad. As I mentioned before, it's in one of those compart, one of those trays that are you know separate all the food. Gotcha. And uh, let's try it out. We'll start with the green beans. And uh, let's hope for the best here. Mmm. Not bad. Not bad. Believe it or not, they still have a little bit of that crunch. They're sweet. They seem to be, um, have been salted with maybe just a touch of butter, it tastes like. Green beans are quite good. Quite good. I'm going to give those Based on the price, convenience, whole nine yards, I'm going to give them four and three quarters star. Okay? We could probably give it a five, but let's stay conservative here for a moment. Next, we're going to dip into the taters. Mix them up a little bit more. By the way, there was a, like a little blotch of butter or something on there um, when I mixed them before. Not too bad. Not too bad. Can't really taste the butter or whatever they put on it. They're they're smooth. Mm. 
they're hot. And um, not bad. Much better than um, the banquet meal. But still doesn't really compare to a, 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 a freshly mashed potato, the real thing. But I'm not going to poo-poo that bad. I'm going to give that a four for a mashed potato out of a TV dinner. Pretty good. Now, let's dive into this uh, Salisbury steak. They, um, little patties, obviously, of ground beef put back together. Um, the gravy looks appetizing. It's not translucent or anything. It's got some chunks of, uh, looks like onion. Um, really doesn't look that bad. I mean, it's not like what you'd make at home, but come on. It's a frozen dinner. And it was very inexpensive. Purchased at Walmart. <laughs> I had to throw that in there. All right, let's give this puppy a, a shot. Wow, they even got a little grill mark on that thing. Let's see how it tastes. How the robots did. Doesn't taste too awful bad. Tastes okay. They've even attempted to give it that almost like they char charbroiled flavor. I don't know why they do that to a Salisbury steak, but I mean, it, when I make it, it's, it's not that intense to, to charbroil, because I don't charbroil it, I guess. But they did that, and it fits well. I can taste the onion and the gravy. I'll try one more here. I mean, this one looks a little more familiar as far as being appetizing. It looks like a hamburger patty. I can, you know, I can live with a hamburger patty. Uh, the look, the texture of it. It's, it's, it's not too finely ground so that it's not mush. Um, has a, a definite beef taste. And a consistency that I'm familiar with, which would be ground beef, hamburger patty. That consistency, again, the charbroiled flavors coming through. The gravy's not bad, a little salty. But um, not bad. I'm going to give the Salisbury steak portion of, of this dinner uh, a, a four and a half. And that's based on the fact that the meal is not very expensive. Considering the price of the meal, $248, normal price at Wally World. Um, I have to tell you, it's, it's quite good for that price. Simple to prepare. The only thing we had to do was pull out the brownie um, earlier, by the way, which is sitting here. So I'm sure it's not going to be warm anymore. But let's give that a shot. There it is. You saw it here. I mean, it, it just looks like a pile of something brown. <laughs> but it smells like a brownie. It's cooled down now. Tastes like what a brownie should taste like. Chocolatey, fudgy, um, chewy, not you know, not very crumbly. Not bad. I mean, um, I gotta give the brownie like a four. Okay, so overall, overall, I would give this meal, I'm gonna give it a four and a half overall. Simply because the price is right, quick to cook, tastes pretty good. And uh, it's going to fill me up. I mean, this is, this is a decent amount of food for a normal person, I would say. Obviously, they're not the healthiest things out there to purchase. And obviously, this is not the top of the line frozen food. But uh, for the money, I would recommend it. Four and a half, guys. Four and a half. I hope you found this review interesting and helpful. And I hope to see you again in the near future. Our February 2nd, 2014 Super Bowl Sunday day. And Rufus is out taking a walk. He's having a good time. Got a little drippy tongue there and he's panting, so I know he wants to cool off. Not to mention we gotta get that mud off him. We're heading towards our favorite pond. I'm sure he's gonna go in. 
but uh, not bad here for February 2nd. Nice and warm, nice breeze, right out here in the middle of nowhere on this dirt road. There he goes, he's heading for the pond. Never fails, it's that Labrador in him. Just loves the water. Let's see if we can catch him going in. And I see ripples. <laughs> There he is, cooling off a little bit, taking a little drink. He just loves that water. Well, I'm glad you went in, Rufus, get that mud off of you. <laughs> he loves getting in the water bowl. Oh, there he goes. Seven months old. He just loves it. By the way, this is a rescue dog. I got him when he was a little puppy at the shelter. So if you folks out there are looking for dogs and you think that purebreds are the only ones to be had, very wrong. These little guys need love and affection, and then and they're great. They're just wonderful. And this guy here, he's got the personality, I'll tell you. He loves people. He loves other dogs. He amuses himself. He just has a great time. And he's really having a good time in that water today. It's pretty hot. Looking at me, huh? I know, you want me to come in with you. Not today. What are you hiding? Oh, a little underwater jobber. Bites of water as he goes. Taking little bites of water there, buddy. That's my Rufus. <laughs> part lab and part pit bull. And the lab is definitely showing off today. There he comes. <laughs> oh no, you're not getting in a golf cart looking like that. Nope. There he is, drying off after a nice swim. Come on, buddy. Always sniffing and exploring. Whoop, what'd he find? It's like he found a beer bottle. No, it's not mine. Oh, there he comes. Hey, buddy. How are you? Huh? How are you? How are you, bud? Come on, let's go for, let's keep going. You gotta dry off a little more. Come on. <laughs>